What's up, family? Welcome to Mini Bites, session 19. And today's theme is transition, transition. My name is Erin. I'm an executive coach. I believe that in order to live and lead authentically, we must be cultivating the mind-body-heart connection. Uh, my work involves connecting wellness and effective leadership. So transition, uh, here I am again, experiencing another uh, wonderful transition in my life and my career um, you know the saying change is the only constant well it's certainly the case in my life transition is uh, is is a constant in my life and there are three um, sort of areas that I'll focus on today with regard to transition so when we are experiencing a transition what can we understand about the transition, this time of transition? So number one, uh, we can guarantee that we are in fact on the right path. And number two, we can guarantee that we are clearing the old to make space for the new. And number three, we can pretty much guarantee there's no room for ego when we are transitioning. So how is this the case? Well. The first one, you are on the right path. It's pretty straightforward. When things are changing and things are shifting, it's always an indication that the work that's being done is leading us in a direction that is in alignment. Because if that were not the, the case, we, there would not be any shifting happening and we would find ourselves in a state of complacency or, um, or comfort. So the fact that a situation is changing or shifting is a reminder that we are on the right path and clearing the old to make space for the new this is sometimes necessary um, the transition is sometimes a sign that in fact we are clearing the old to make space for the new and we must be constantly doing this i had a dream the other night that involved some individuals that i had not thought about in a long time like years and years and there's a theory about dreams like this and they call it house cleaning where literally they say it's your um, your brain kind of making space clearing out the old making space for uh, new thoughts and memories which I believe we have a say in and I believe that we have a choice uh, to some extent um, to make with that but clearing out the old to make space for the new is literally happening in my life right now and in, in a certain area and it's really powerful because it's actually happening very quickly. Um, it started with a thought process and it started with uh, an understanding and a, and, and a desire to move forward in a certain way. And once I made that choice, the old, uh, the old uh, action and the old behaviors began to fall away. And almost instantaneously, the new desire and the new behavior is taking effect in my life and it's flowing quite nicely and finally no room for the ego I have found that during periods of transition it is uh, I have far less ego and I think a lot of that has to do with the uncertainty of it all and so when things feel uncertain for me and I can't really my tendency is to want to say I have a plan and I know exactly what this is going to look like and you know, I know exactly what this is going to feel like, but the fact is that's really never the case, but it's a lot easier for me to acknowledge that when I'm experiencing a transition in my life. It's a lot easier for me to not really hide behind that, but to accept that I certainly do not have it all figured out. And the way ego likes to show up in my life a lot of the time is ego likes to say, to tell me and remind me that I do have it all figured out and I have this very well-defined plan that is going plan that is going to work flawlessly you know so it's during these times of transition that I am reminded uh, that I certainly do not have it figured out nor do I want to and in fact the idea I might have of that new circumstance could be very limiting and so uh, the time of transition is a really nice time for me to um, embrace my vulnerability and uh, increase connection with self and to really just embrace the experience for what it offers without expectation. 
when there's when there's less less room for ego, there's also uh, many times for me less room for expectation. So transition it is a reminder that we are on the right path. It is uh, an opportunity to clear the old and make way for the new. And finally, in my experience has been there's very little room for the ego. If you would like to learn more about my personal coaching offering, you may uh, email me directly at emc2emac at emc2nolimits.com. Love you all. Thanks.